Hello! It's SuperGuy019, and we're back with another episode of Giga Wrecker. Last time we left off, he entered a new place, which is seems to be into enemy territory. And now, we're gonna move on. Also, I'm very bad at pronouncing things, so forgive me if I butcher a lot of names. Also, we're not exactly out of the blind play. We're not exactly out of the woods yet when it comes to this being blind. I got a bit further in my first recording, but as I mentioned in the last video, it didn't go too well, so. Actually, honestly, this area I have not been in. And we have spikes. I'm not sure if we die in one hit by spikes, but I have a feeling we're about to find out. And I cut the wrong one. Or the right one. Okay. Yeah. Gotta love how this game lets you lose use the environment to kill enemies. <laughs> What's up? Communication signals are crossing. Zzz. This is a report for our Viceroy Astra Venata. Report? This is their communication. What is it? Let me hear it. Zzz. Thank you, I am sorry. Uh, there are huge casualties in our security squads, resulted from encounters against an intruder. Zzz. An intruder? I don't think this I don't think this human has such abilities to fight against us and cause such damage. This intruder, only one human has been confirmed. One only a single human. Hmm. Wonder what human they're talking about. Also wonder who that chick is. What is that? Oh, I can... That was weird, I kinda got stuck in the corner there for a second. Not actually sure where we're going. But... Let's make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the D-Vex. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot, kind of forgot that thing was swinging. Alright, let's try not to do that same thing. Oh, conversation play again too. Spikes do indeed kill in one hit, so that's something to keep in mind. My, that is a lot of enemies. Hmm. All right, I'm really gonna have to take that part carefully. Oh, okay. I get how you. I I get how you increase your health now. Uh, so I guess you need to uh, activate four, of the, at least four of these to get like more health. Makes sense. Take care of that guy. Take care of that guy.
Oh. Yeah. My default hand doesn't actually kill him. Alright, this is a little tricky. I have to time it kind of well. There we go, and... Oh, wrong way. There we go. Yeah, that was a... a slightly tricky. But we did it. Well, I guess this episode is kind of blind, because I have not... Last time I played this, I went a different way. The way that was pretty tricky indeed. But this way I have not been yet, so... Like, I can't go in those rooms yet. Yeah. Huh, from what it looks like, I need to activate those switches to enter those rooms. Into those rooms. Sorry, not meaning to pause so much. Alright, so we went down here, so I'm gonna say, uh... Now we're going to the path that I've been down before in my previous recording, but we go ahead and save. Yeah, now the path I'm going was the part that was giving me trouble, but first, uh, cutscene. Hmm. What is it? Well, I was thinking. It's fine about you trying to destroy this place, but if so, there's one thing which makes it difficult. Sooner or later, you'll have to face the Astro classes. The Astro class? First, about these robots. Seem like they called themselves Ajits? The Ajit society system is similar to feudalism. And this in industrial era is one of their. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Each one of those spies are owned by high-class Egypts, who are ranked in the Astro class. Like feudal lords. That's right. None of them are here as well. I was monitoring some of their communications and found out that one of the, that the one who's ruling this area is called Astra Venata. I couldn't decipher everything, so I don't know about its ability or so on. To Ashavanada. Right. Also, if you're watching this and know that I'm pronouncing it wrong, feel free to correct me. Go ahead and get that guy. Alright, this is the gimmick that kind of strange, cool at the same time, and a little confusing. Whoa, what's that? Looks like a waterfall. It's a type of... It's a type of reason we call it elastic field. It's harmless, but has some string characteristics. It makes chemical reactions with nanomachines and makes things fall off of them. Maybe I should name a debris wall covered with this a rubber ball? So, with this, you make it to reasonable, go through it, turns it elastic, and voila, you bounce off of it. Interesting, right? Well, there's going to be a lot of gimmicks involving that, which are kind of weird. Okay. That guy's already getting too close for comfort.
But if you thought the last guys had a range, those guys have a lot of range and pretty hard to take down. You need a pretty big debris spawn to do that. Let's go, let's go over what we have. The elastic field has the power to bounce off the other objects. If I can fly up by jumping on top of it, I bet it's a shame if I jump bump into it from the side. Now, this part right here... Kinda... confusing as well. But... Let's try something. I guess, I'm not sure if that's the intended way to do it, but... Wait. Before I do, there's something down here? Yes, there is! Yeah. Yeah. Only you guys down here. Yeah. No, I, actually, I, actually, I haven't actually been down this path either. Nice progress, bro. You're doing good at the archery abilities. Oh yes, thanks to you. You're welcome. You should know that whoever granted such a great extensibility with your new body has gotten to an outstanding super has got to be an outstanding super genius. Wow. Here we go again. Well, to be honest, I want to make you easier. The more you fight and use the archies, the more the more I can collect by using combat. Next time I create a side card, I'm sure it will be, not, be a much greater weapon than I You're thinking of making another one? Yeah. Turns out I haven't actually been putting on this pop either. But it doesn't look like I can like go over there, so... Get back here. Yeah. Not sure if there's anything up up here. Nope, there isn't. So let's go back the way we're going. Oh, okay. Now I can get down there. One second. Just gonna see how long I've been recording for. Uh, I keep going for like five more minutes. I'm actually gonna check down this path. Guess we'll have to wait a bit longer to get back to where we last left off and to also show you guys the uh, puzzles that were stomping me. Who knows, maybe we'll come across more puzzles that stomp me along this path. This doesn't look too bad. Oh, Terry is huge. That was not really what I meant to do. That's pretty far what I meant to do, from what I meant to do, actually. Okay. Going to go this way and... Well, uh, I don't think I can make it now unless... We're gonna try it. I'm not sure how far we could jump, but uh, here goes nothing. Well, I triggered a cutscene, but I uh, didn't exactly make it. Hey, Doc. What's up? Well, I just thought I don't know about your I don't know about you any any much. Like 
you have any other family? You don't look like so. No, I don't. Well, I used to. Oh, I'm sorry. You had the same experience as well. It's not that easy, John Swan. I know that, but... Well, I was a workaholic, and my wife was fed up with me anyway. But we had a daughter. If she were still alive, she'd be about your age. Okay, it's no point in keeping, keeping you out of there. So I'll be honest about this. Studying their technologies for development of science, is, of science, that's not really what I'm in for. Actually, I'm seeking vengeance on these robots, and I'm using you as, a, as my weapon for this. A wretched old man, gone to the past, using a young girl like you just for self-satisfaction. Go ahead, despise me. Living to seek revenge, huh? I'd rather say that's something not unusual in this world. That's the same with me. I lost many of my beloved people, and I want to make them pay for it too. First of all, we're on the same boat now. We need to work together to achieve each other's purposes. Well, well. It wouldn't have been easier for me if he just completely hated me on there. So, we're gonna either die or die right in here, but it doesn't matter because we need to reset anyways. And that cutscene might happen again, but that's fine. We'll just skip it. Okay, that could happen apparently. That's not what I meant to do either. I just need to get those enemies off that platform for now. Uh, maybe I could. I need to get them off the platform without destroying it. Damage boosting for the win. Or lose, because we can still be dead here. That especially works, but I still might be dead here. Oh, uh, no, we're dead. Don't know, don't know how to actually get up there yet, though. But, uh... Maybe there's a certain ability I need? Oh, well. Uh... Gonna go ahead and go back the other way for now, though. So dead. Oh. All right. Now this is now we're getting to the areas that are stomping me. Well, first let's go ahead and uh, lock this thing. I think we need a little bit bigger debris as well, but so what you need to do here is 
turn this thing into elastic. Jump on it, do this, slice that, and that thing's dead. Now at first I was really confused because it does kind of a lot of actions within a short amount of time. But it also just wasn't that obvious to me. Hey girl, I got something to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Oh, before the world became like this, do you have any dreams for the future? Hmm? That's out of the blue. Hmm, gross. Uh, well, as a father with a daughter, I used to have a daughter. I was just curious about it. Hmm, nope, I'm not telling you. Also, there's no point in talking about it. There's no way to make it happen now. Hey, hey, what's wrong with the... What's wrong? That's not what I want to hear from you, girl. No dreams could have... No dreams could come true if you give it up from the beginning. What? You're giving me lectures now? That's so out of character. You're sounding more weird now. Imaginations I'm talking about. Think about a bright future. Where those hateful edges are eliminated and all our ruined cities built back. That kind of future. What do you want to do then? What? Well... Come on, let me hear it. Um, I want to be a vet. Huh? I like animals. Oh, I see. That's a pretty dream. Ah, uh, forget it. It's none of your business. And first of all, what's all this bright future thing anyway? For a cyborg like me, designed for destruction, there won't be a place for me to enjoy a peaceful world. Ah, uh, I just wanted to change the dream there. Looks like that didn't work. Well, that's fine for now, even if there's no hope for the future. My finger and sorrow is what keeps me moving, as long as it motivates me to live on. <laughs> Hopefully there's a save point coming up soon. As you see, we kind of have to do the same thing, but this time there's a turret here to bother us. And, oh. Uh, still did it, but... Kinda in a disorganized way, and let's go ahead and try to get more life here. So we just have to Oh. That guy's still here. Okay. Now we just have to go back, turn this to last stick again, and Okay, uh let's not have that I bounce it as you can see I bounce that enemy into the air and it smacked me. Beautiful. Yeah, the honestly, the elastic debris ball can be a bit dangerous sometimes because it actually it actually moves enemies as well. Oh, so I can need one more to come here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna head back. Uh, I'll fast forward to when I go. And we're back. So I'm just gonna stop here for now and then do some exploring later next time. So this is Ziva Guys 019 and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.